So welcome to what is the final reflection for Southern Counties Baptist Association uh, for 2020. We hope that you've enjoyed these and as always our love and greetings of the whole team come to you and all our blessings for Christmas as well. Brought you here to Winchester High Street uh, just in case you haven't done enough Christmas shopping yet. I hope that you've just got 10 minutes just to stop and to reflect with us and to receive this reflection. I don't know about you but in about normally when I was a local pastor about April, April May, a small knot begin, began to uh, tighten in my stomach and the knot was called Christmas. I started to worry what on earth am I going to do for Christmas this year and as I pondered it that knot would tighten and tighten as the year went on and I used to have this fear that would there be anything fresh to do and fresh to say about the wonderful nativity story. What a fool I've been over these years because what I've discovered is that the Christmas story of Christ entering our world has become more and more mysterious as the years go by. The deeper I consider it and share that with others the more and more I think it is an incredible wonderful mystery for us to ponder forevermore. So I just want to think for a moment or two of this incredible mystery of the Christmas story. The beginning of John's Gospel he writes these words The Word became flesh and blood and dwelt amongst us incredibly remarkable words when we stop and think that the one who is all-powerful the Almighty the one who is all-knowing the one who is who sustains all things who holds the world in his hands the one who created all things would become the created something scientists and biologists will never get their heads around this is a mystery and a miracle in itself and yet one that God does in breaking into our world and becoming one of us. You know, the virgin birth has been the butt of many a comedian's joke, but actually there's something incredible about the impossible becoming possible in God. And the mystery is far greater and deeper than that because in the birth of Christ we see the humility of God God letting go of power and becoming weak like one of us most people have power and we see it in King Herod of course in the nativity story do everything to hold on to power but God in his love lets go of divine authority and becomes weak like a child. There's nothing more vulnerable than a child. There's nothing more weak than a child. A child is completely reliant on others. And so God puts himself into the hands of Mary and Joseph, who would feed him, who would carry him, who would look after him, who would care for him, who would clean him. It's amazing. What a mystery. What a miracle. And another part of the mystery that always fascinates me and gets me pondering deeper into the Christmas story is that Christ becomes human. He completely becomes flesh and blood and identifies with us completely in our humanity. He knows what it is to be born. He knows what it is to be cared for. He knows what it is to laugh. He knows what it is to weep. He knows what it is to suffer. He knows what it is to grieve. He knows what it is to celebrate. He knows what it is to befriend people and be with people. He knows what it is to, to eat and to drink. He knows what it is to laugh. He knows what it is to cry. He knows what it is to die. He knows all of humanity. As Hebrew says, we, we do not have a high priest who does not sympathize with us, 
but we have one that sympathizes with us in every way, in every temptation. He understands what it is to be human. Every newborn baby brings that new sense of anticipation, expectation, and hope of what the future might look like. And of course, the birth of Jesus is no different. Mary, Joseph, shepherds, wise men all ponder and wonder what is this child and what will this child do? But in Christ, we discover a mystery of the future, not just for them, but also for us. I love that scene in Only Fools and Horses when Del Boy is, is holding his newborn baby, Damien, and he's looking into his eyes and he's at the window of the hospital and he, uh, he says those inevitable words, this time next year we'll be millionaires. I don't think Damien was the source of Del Boy's millions. But when we look into the eyes of Christ, there's no promise of us being millionaires, but there is a promise of a glorious and eternal future for each and every one of us as we identify with him. Jesus brings a mystery, not just a mystery of the future of himself, but also a mystery of the future for you and I. Never give up pondering, wondering, being in awe, of this nativity story. Its well is deep of wonder and mystery. And I pray that this Christmas time, you once again will hold that mystery and wonder and worship our Lord Jesus Christ. We wanna wish you the very happiest and best Christmas to you, to your leaders, but also to your fellowships. May God bless you and may you have a wonderful time and we'll look forward to catching up with you, hopefully face to face in the new year. God bless you all.